What up guys, Backyard Scientist here, and today we're making dry ice bombs and throwing them in the pool. Check it out. Alright, for this experiment you'll need dry ice. It's actually easy to find. Most grocery stores have it. Just ask somebody that works there. Once you have it, break it into small pieces and push it into the water bottle. If you have access to it, liquid nitrogen or liquid propane would work just as well for this. Next, what you need to do is tie a weight to the end of your water bottle. Cap it and then quickly throw it into the pool. Now, I was curious what would happen to a person if they were in the water when this went off, so I filled up a bunch of balloons with air and put them underwater to simulate your body cavities. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to be anywhere near this when it went off underwater. I'm sure you've noticed how the explosion oscillates as it rises to the surface. This is caused by the explosion pushing out against the water until it reaches a point where the water pressure is greater than the force of the expanding gas. This pushes the explosion back inwards until the force of the explosion overcomes the pressure of the water. This is the most interesting shot of the entire experiment. You can see with each pulse, the waves compound and grow and grow and grow until water just starts flying off the surface. Pretty trippy. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to check back for more, and additionally, you can now follow me on Twitter and Facebook. If you like my pages, you'll be able to see behind the scenes and extra footage. See ya.